Hello, ladies, gents, and all procrastinators trying to get out of chores. I start you with the end of my tragedy. Let's restart. Oh, that 745 loss hurt me my soul once more. At this point, nothing is success. Even a 745 is a failure. How sad is that? How sad is that? I'm losing perspective. I'm getting into my head that, oh, nothing but complete victory is worthy. The comments are totally getting under my skin. They're totally preventing me from enjoying the fact. Wow. Wow. Enjoying the fact that I'm still in the top one percentile <laughs> of Splunky players. These are things that I must tell myself so that I do not falter. Because believe me, brothers and sisters, faltering is a constant temptation. I have considered it several times being like, you know what? I'm just not good enough. I'm going to stop. I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up gameplay altogether. This sucks. This entire seat sucks. And I hate it. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if I had only one. Uh, if I didn't only have one point of health. I'll just go through the exit. What's the worst that can happen? Some scumbag destroy me. Huh. There's Cali. There's Cali. It's alright. It's alright, fella. You don't need to be enemies. You just need to, to come at me for long enough for me to sacrifice you. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for there, but... Unfortunately, that piece of garbage avoided my incredible attacks. Oh, man, I wanted... Really? Really? I don't want to spend my last rope. I thought there would, there would be a step to go all the way back up there. And now even my shotgun is down. It's, it's gone. It's arguable this rope is going to be worth spending. When I am without any resources, obviously... Not doing great in the health department. I could uh, use hiring a new Ministry of Health and Sanitation. Maybe I should change my diet. Get myself some ketogenic synthesis of energy processes going into my my system. That's all right. We're going to pull through. Hopefully, there will be ropes in the near future. And uh, life will stop being this horrendously upsetting. Of course, going out of my way to get some farming done. Uh, as I was preparing for this video, I had to surrender to the fact that, you know what? I think I'm just out of material. I am out of topics to banter about. Banter about. I was sitting here. Thinking, what am I gonna talk about when the gameplay gets... Uh, I, when I have disengaged from the gameplay. I mean, I reacted to the caveman, right? I did react to the caveman, didn't I? I reserved some credit for that. Uh, the gameplay... It's not... Oh, that was a mistake. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here, how about I do something like this and this will be hilarious? <laughs> well, <laughs> I had to take matters in my own hands because that son of a bitch found a way out. I thought I thought that I had him I'm dead to rights. But unfortunately, that piece of trash found a way out of my incredible trap. Oh, nice. That's exactly what we needed. I mean, it's uh, unfortunate. The fact that um, now all these people are going to be real mad at me. Take the chance, take the chance. Just go, go, go. It was only assault, though. You don't need to... Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's all right, all right. You, you just got to go down, Mr. Shelf. Uh-oh. I need to do either more violence or... I'll just have to juke the crap out of this guy. I'm just too great. I'm too great at this game. Cannot be stopped, bitch. It's Blunky. I'm telling you, Derek Q has microphones, has ways. Saying, oh no, oh no, he's getting too close. 
He's getting too close to the spare. Got to reel him in. Got to give him a little bit of a reason to keep going. Give him a tiny bit of false hope. There it is. Tiny bit of false hope. Let me give him a nice bit of uh, sweet moves so he can feel good about himself. Have a little bit of fun in this blunky world. A good experience where nobody but himself has fun. And then he'll just keep coming back for more suffering. Because that's all that Derek cares about. Doesn't care about your enjoyment. But he also doesn't want to kill you. All he wants is to keep you in that sweet spot of never-ending torment. That uh, just keeps you coming back to Spelunky. There should be a shot keeper around here, so... Let us be cautious of our approaches. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that. There was no way out of there, but thankfully, everything works out. Never punished. That's right. I never got myself a fuck you Jedi. So, let's do this thing. And it had to be done. Not happy about this entire situation. Should be really harvesting blood here. Only at three points of health. Uh, fiery... Fiery Barrage plus a long fall will be able to murder me, so let's take it easy. Take it easy. We got some nice power kegs here. Everything's good. And we got the sticky bombs. You stick around. You soldier on. The run will fix itself. Don't you worry about a damn thing. You just plow forward. Wow. That's a lot of a lot of powder kegs. Pretty neat. Very satisfying descent into madness over here. What was that? Four bombs? Fantastic. Excellent stuff. All right. That's the entrance to Vlad's abode. That. There you go. Uh, yeah, I was sitting here being like, I got nothing, man. I have depleted all my anecdotes. I got no more material. All my topics of discussion have been exhausted so clearly what you do now is you just become a political channel that should be all triggered uh, i think that i'm going to turn this into a political channel but a very special political channel in which each day is a completely different and opposite position one day i'm going to be just screaming about those damn sjw's and how they're ruining society. The next day, I'll be telling you all about your disgusting privilege and how you should be ashamed of yourself. Never again speak to anybody without being spoken to if the color of your skin is anything above coffee latte. Because, you know, mixed race people, they're not real people either. It's only the blacks. And now the Asians. That's the only people that matter now. Uh, let's see. So, you know, I'll, I'll be guaranteed to drive absolutely insane. Every single person. Mr. Vampire, would you like to come down with me? I wanted to harvest your blood. You know what? You know what? No. No blood harvest. No self-flagellation. Only flatulation coming out of my butthole. That's all that we're going to get. I do not need to harvest blood. Did you just see the previous episode in which I slowly and steadily harvested a whole 99 health just by virtue of harvesting blood wherever I went? It worked out. I never went out of my way to harvest blood. Actually, I did at some point. And then I realized how much of a silly endeavor it was when a stupid grunk eliminated all my spro my prospects. What I will do, I'll just start making up anecdotes. Good old making stuff up for no reason. I don't need to tell you real life stories when I can just make them up on the spot. I was crossing the bridge the other day. This homeless guy started screaming at the top of his lungs. Who 
where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? He was just running at me, screaming about his spoon. So obviously I had to do a karate, a judo maneuver, put him on the floor. Uh, this bomb is the best bomb. Oh, oh, absolute perfection. Put him on the floor. I noticed that his coat was actually pretty nice, so I started to be like, Stand still! St stay still! And started disrobing him. So I could take his coat, and now my his coat is mine. It's in, our, in my... It's in my closet. I did have to empty the pockets of dead rats, but... After a good cleaning. Uh, worked out pretty nicely. Very stylish, very nice coat. No real moral of the story here, just uh I stole from a hobo. Should really do this. This is a, this is a mistake that I keep making with this Olmec nonsense. It's like take a little bit of time to get him out. And then you can go back in and do the uh, finish this up. There you go. Another fantastic excursion into the tide pool. Alright, fella, you're going to fall asleep. Nobody wants you to move. I'm not even going to grab any more of your weirdos. This is very much beneficial to my person. So I shall gamble. Same old nonsense. They're cute, promoting gambling the youth. I should have definitely gotten my face scorched by the, uh, approaching so them aggressively, but thankfully worked out for me. For some reason, man, the machete, they love making you gamble for machetes. They must have some kind of surplus. An over supply of all of that machete. Maybe it's all the packos that have died in the in the past. Might as well grab this. What's the what's the worst that can happen here? There's no reason to stick around, right? There's just nothing at all. I mean might as well do this. I am a good boy. I rescue little creatures. Very tempting, Callie. But I am a good person. I am changing my ways. I am not sacrificing this innocent slave to your wily ways. I'm just uh, carrying on. Trying a clone gun. I'm never doing anything untoward towards those that are servants to my cause. I'm turning around, I'm turning a new leaf, never again taking advantage of the innocent, never again doing anything that's terrible. Ow. I don't know what the hell hurt me there, was it the bat, was it my own stupidity? I don't know, probably both. I'm hurt in my ego. What else can I do when I run out of material, just, can just be constantly quiet? An accent, like uh, like the best Twitch streamers, just uh, be mostly quiet. <laughs> How do you manage that, Gronk? How do you manage that? Found yourself a nice little spot without me even trying. That's amazing. How, have you ever seen that? <laughs> they find themselves a safe little spot where they cannot get out. I appreciate it, Gronk. That's some team playing right there. You already know your place. To kill the fish is what I do. There's often something amazing in the present box. Would you like to come back at me? Come back at me, bro. Don't pretend like you don't care. I know you're programmed to do that. Okay, I think we're good. No reason to stick around. Yep. Uh, something I was told a while ago, and only noticed it recently, is that the youngest servant will follow the oldest servant. And uh, stay out of trouble. I think that's the way it will work. Please grab the sword. Will you though? Will you stick around here? I guess I'll be back to make sure you don't do anything stupid. We do have spike shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this is a bit of complication. I think the complication will be solved with explosives. Much like most of my problems. You just throw C4 at it. Yeah, see, he's he's following his eldest. He knows what he's what, what he's supposed to do. What a guy. Let's go in here. Whoa. Oh, that is such a load of temptation in there. That bomb box inside of the vault, but I refrain. I do not need that kind of trouble in my life. No siree. You know what? <laughs> Get destroyed. Thank goodness I didn't disturb the idol. I would have been sad. Very sad indeed. And we got another garbage. Well, actually, this one's good. You still need a rope. I still need the rope. Oh, that's bad. Then it's not a good bomb. Yep. <laughs> I think I need to, when you have the pictures made, you need to hold the up button. Otherwise, that's going to happen. Well, that's disappointing. That's still not that huge of a deal. You just saw the incredible run that I just had. It was amazing. I don't really need no stinking unk. All I need is one life. That's all I need. I will not make the same mistake I often make. First locate the exit, then jump down. That works very nicely. These two idiots... I appreciate the fact... Okay, how about... Uh, let go of that. You absolute moron. Alright, let's go to the top. There's no... Spoiks. There's no... Uh, climbing gloves in my hands. Let's go find the frickin' passage! Oh. There's another reason why. I, I don't even remember or know whether the pitcher smith changes what uh, that skip. You have to press a different key or something. I think it was just good old run-of-the-mill incompetence. I just did not press down the the correct key. And I ended up playing dear, paying dearly for my indiscretion. A whole extra life. The entire reason we go out of our way to do certain things. I've kind of been embracing the fact that just get death. <laughs> just, just get just put the sword on me. Just get Flyboy. It's like, you know what? I'm not good enough. <laughs> Just can't fly, boy. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but makes everything standardized. Makes my life a lot easier. Rankles a little bit that I have to do it, but it's the best course of action. Straight above me, huh? Would you like to open up a way to gloop? I would appreciate that. Up and wait to gloop. What a good boy. Alright, there you go. At least now the bombs are sticky. Supposed the last time. Which they were not. There you are. I knew that you could do such a thing. Oh. I want my sword, alright? It's actually quite useful. In the first level of New Babylon. I will take it every edge I can possibly have. That being said, I really should have gone into this place for uh, both the compass and the the extra ropes. That would have helped. Is there a reason to do some sacrifices here? Not really. You get the jelly in the tusk palace thingy. Kabumo. Let me just play it safe. That's another thing. Been just trying to take it easy and play it more safe. I often throw myself into really dumb situations, and you know, I'm still gonna do that. Just trying to be focusing, like I, I keep hammering, yammering on and on and on. On just trying to eliminate my own dumb mistakes. For, and, and that way, 
If I die, it's because there was a really genuine difficult situation that I just I couldn't handle it. It was just too hard for me to react. All right, and let's hope that that is the way that I die from now on, as opposed to you know something silly that I, that I would never do, like messing up the the jizzy bomb skip, smiling gold vortex. Smiling gold vortex, you say. Always gotta look so closely. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is perhaps my least favorite part of the entirety of the quest line. Looking for the stupid Ushapti. It's pretty tedious. It was fun. The first times you do it. Not so much the 500th time you do it. How many times have I done this? Probably in the high 200s, right? Nah. I don't think it's even been a hundred times yet. It's close, though. Please, where's my smiling eye? I think. Well, that's it, right? Smiling gold eye. Vortex. Smiling gold vortex. I was looking for the eye. Derp. <laughs> there it is. I hadn't found the vortex anyway, so it's all good. Is that a dead end? It's not. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Let's see if we can get to an exit. There you go. It's easy. All you need to do is not die. Come on. Get on with the program. That's three bombs if I destroy the Kali Altar. I respect her too much, though. Mummy Kali will not be disrespected. That was definitely not close whatsoever. I did not take any risks there. How dare you even suggest. How dare you even suggest. Ah! <laughs> That's not exactly what I intended. I meant to just pick him up. Wait this out. Alright. Hopefully make it. I was jetpacking for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe I would have gone mad if I if, <laughs> when I did that. Maybe if I hit him, he would not have enjoyed that. So I'm glad that nothing bad happened. All right, 18 health. By the time we get to, or if we get to the cosmic, oh my goodness, that's just a nightmare. So <laughs> let me just find a different path, okay? He's going to freely spend resources to get to a much easier place. Kabumo. Let's take it easy. Take it easy. Out is nearby. Nothing but nightmares surround me. Oh man, at least you know uh, it's been pretty. The last few episodes, I'm already counting my chickens before they hatch. But the last few episodes, it has been very consistent. It's been very nice. I'm not even going to comment on the absolutely incredible way in which I just confidently sailed into the gauntlet. Didn't even wait. That is me taking no stupid risks whatsoever. Didn't even wait for the for the electricity to be out of the way. No, just scroll, stroll right in there. Stroll right in there. I've been doing some. I'm sure you have noticed because I have told you. I wonder how how unnoticeable as it is. If I pretend like I'm doing live commentary, will you be able to tell? I wonder. Am I doing live commentary right now? Or am I just doing this on post and not even telling you? <laughs> now you're going to be wondering every time. Oh, dastardly. Always get into your head. Getting you a weird brain freeze boner. I don't know what that even is, but I'm giving it to you. Oh man, I am starting to feel slightly nervous about the possibility of that little scumbag not showing up. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that is why you bring 
Oh, there he is. No, that's just a shop. That is why you bring a hired hand. That being said, he is selling a hired hand. <laughs> oh, how fortunate is that? How unfortunate that he didn't spawn. How fortunate that he is selling a slave for me to pull this off anyway. That's fantastic. That's incredible. What are the chances, I tell you? What are the chances of this coming to pass? I don't know. But they can't be high at all. I mean, this is free health. I'm going to grab it. Yeah. Give me that good stuff. Uh, so what you want to do, of course, you want to carry the bow. You're going to put this here. I would rather he pick up the, the clone gun. There you go. I can't believe I got this lucky. Well done, Gronk. The reward is death. There you go. You're a good boy. Oh my goodness. There's no reason to be car carrying this, but I'm doing it. Oh man, the, the challenge is facing the other direction, huh? That's bizarre. Let me just go over there. Is it bizarre? I don't think so. It's just a strange formation at the very start. Nice. All right, fella. Let's do this nonsense. 19 sticky bumps. It's all good. I've been doing the just whipping lately. It's probably a lot less of a headache. And in fact, you can get a lot more health if you just go over there and start whipping. Uh, that being said, if you have the sticky bombs, just do it that way. Get rid of the dispenser. It's just less stressful. That is, fills me with joy to see those pieces of trash be so thoroughly manhandled. It is so nice. To witness that. Very happy to see that happen. Because they deserve nothing but humiliation. By far my least. Most hated. My most hated. I was going to say least favorite. But there's no favorite. I hate them all. I hate every single enemy in, in Spelunky. It's just the least hated. The most hated is the witch doctor. By far I think. Is there a s another enemy that I would say even worse? Aliens are neat. I need to do a tier list of Spelunky enemies. Very original content. Yep. But I haven't actually never... I have never actually given it much thought of doing a ranking of enemies by level of annoyance. Not by level of danger. They are all equally dangerous in their own ways. By level of incredible annoyance. By far, which doctor? Absolute worst. Okay, this is uh, very traumatic. Some I have walked into some kind of scene from hell itself. Extremely, extreme gluttony. Absolutely gross. Only 27 health. I need at least... 20,000 more. Look at, look at Beagle. Getting freed from his horrible prison. You know what? There's just too much greatness going on in this corner of the world for me not to grab all that stuff. Please no. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> I was starting to be very, very worried about my, my uh, arrow being destroyed. All right. Here we are, once more. Chicken face. It gives us a chance. Ow. He's just trying to get help, brother. Uh, chicken face gives us a chance to fail. Looking forward to the humiliation. Well, you know what I'm doing. Straight to the top, baby. I am coming out of Compton. And I'm going to make it as a rap artist. I will be taken serious by all these posers. I'm going to make my mark. A mom's spaghetti will be a thing of the past. Never again will have to eat that gruel. Because I'm going to take my one chance. And one shot I will not miss. This is taking forever. Please show me the end of this. I love how 
the the food chain works in in this sunken city. It's freaking hilarious. No climbing gloves. That always puts a big damper on my ability to navigate the cosmic ocean. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> that could have been horrendous. <laughs> All right, snake. Filthy snake man. Disgusting creature from beyond. Get through to your face, you piece of trash. I'm going to be methodical, like I constantly keep repeating. The temptation is there to... Oh, just go quickly, quickly, stomp, blah, 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 go, 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 go. Just wait the 10 seconds, man. Just wait the 10 damn seconds. And you will save yourself so much heartache. So much heartache. Because, uh... Subject yourself to nonsense. Very nice. And you saw me restart from that uh, 745. So this is uh, two in a row going to the cosmic ocean. Feeling pretty damn great. It's like I am hopefully hitting my stride, getting uh, back to being consistent. It's okay. The early cosmic ocean failures. They're part of the they're part of the experience. Ooh. Is the not being able to get here that really gets, you know, really gets on my morale. Okay, just leave that alone. Leave that alone. Really, uh, gets me down when I don't even make it here. After an hour and a half of nonsense. Alright, there's the bubbles. And there's the exit. So, obviously, I mean, we have a billion resources, so let's do it. This way. I would have just gone looping, but I have a million stuff. Seeing the exit close to the entrance gives me hope that it's a short level. But it's not a guarantee. It's just completely random, I believe. 100% random. Is that elevator going ever upwards? A true elevator? <laughs> That's a, a true elevator experience. The perpetual motion machine. Oh, whoop. Well, at least it's a short level. Very wide, though. There's the double bubble. The double bubble. It should pay me for promotion. Forget, is that a... Is that a American brand? That's the American brand, that's for sure. Alright. The exit is super easy. Just, I, I really want to make sure that I can reach it from here. Definitely don't, but if I loop... Was it in this side? Okay, I am confused. Where's the exit again? See, this is why. This is why I check. This is why I have to... There it is. All right. In fact, let's make it so that uh, I don't screw myself, all right? Where's the entrance to the level? Those are annoying as hell. Plenty of time, so... Let me, in fact, get rid of these weirdos. Very annoying. <laughs> Just get rid of these scumbags. They're darn insane. Alright, now that that's dealt with. I mean, this was far more trivial than I made out to be. But, you know, I'm okay with being overly cautious in, in that way. It definitely pays off. In the manner of not dying idi idiotically. The exit is, seems to be middle, middle, middle. Or maybe that's the top of the level. I like how the aliens shoot at the All Mites because they hate each other. It's a cool little, uh, it's a cool little, uh, detail. This is already a loop, right? Holy crap. This is a nightmare. <laughs> it's a short little one, man. It, pa it packs a punch. Almost got crushed there. I hope that you appreciate it. Number two. And the exit was in the middle somewhere. Don't know the height of it. Definitely stuck in the middle, though. Pretty full with the elevators. Always a nightmare. 
There it is. All right. Let's just make a hold to it. I don't know where the last bubble is at. But if there's something that my experience in the cosmic ocean has taught me, it's probably a bad idea what you just did. Very likely to end a never ending touring of lava straight to my face. Something I've learned in Cosmic Ocean is that just spend your damn bombs. Just throw them wherever they will go, man. Just toss them. Like there's so much trash. Toss, toss, toss that. Those bombs. Like you got a hole in your pocket. Just toss them. Most of the time, I'm going to end up with 50 bombs when I die. Anyway, that's the last bubble right there. Uh, let's find the exit before popping it. That's another bit of... I really want this spider gun. I can do it. I can do it. There you go. A lot of water in the loop is uh, creeping me out. Let's find that exit. Creeping me out. <clears throat> Did not intend for that to go down that way, but it's all right. Riffly pursuing every single crate. It could be the climbing gloves that will save my anus. Really feeling their absence right now. There's the exit. At the very bottom, huh? Just in case. <laughs> you want to be 100% sure. Oh boy. Just wave that out. I'm okay with being hit. Just don't get vaporized. I know it was somewhere around here. There it is. Wow. It's at the very top. All we need to do is dodge the jelly. So it might come from the top. Uh, we're so far up. Yep. Wow. Right, but I anticipated that. There you go. I'm glad that I was putting some thought into this nonsense. I'm not even going to talk about anything other than balls and how I want to bust them. Not interested in your stupid anecdotes, your silly, made up nonsense, your attempts at jokes, and whatever passes for humor inside your head. Just give me ball busting 24 7. I think we got one bubble down. Uh, ah, sure. We'll do it like that. That's the exit, too. Not sure if this is second or last. Unfortunate. Would have been very convenient to leave that there. Also been training myself to leave the last bubble in the most convenient spot. All these little things that, yeah, sure, it takes longer in the Cosmic Ocean to get around and to, to finish the level and all that stuff. But it gets me to actually finish the level. I feel that's an improvement from dying 87-10. You know? <laughs> I feel like that's definitely a step above. Anyway, there's the bubble, but I forget exactly where the exit was at. So let's make doubly sure. It was... Uh, since we have plenty of time. Continue to harvest that blood. We have plenty of time. I think it was like somewhere down here. We opened the way. Yeah. So we just go through the loop. It's actually a very short level. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that until just now. Very easy. It was like actually just here. Still gonna go through the top though. Wait it out. Should be coming from the left. Damn it. <laughs> I messed up again. It's actually through here. There we are. Nice. More. All right, double digits, baby. <laughs> That's uh, another threshold for success, as far as I'm concerned. There's some explosions happening, hopefully not in my face. Ooh. Sure, I'll just loop. Give me them bubbles. What the freaking hell? All right, so that's the last, as usual. Find the exit first. Before you bust it. Only time I'm gonna do. And every time, man, that I every time I've died lately, 
at least in recent memory. The the ones that I have not erased from my memory because they were too damn humiliating to to hold on to it. It's been just me. Uh, being too hasty, popping a bubble when I shouldn't have, not giving things that their proper procedure. Look at me, not being able to find the exit. Do you think I would have fared better with a jellyfish chasing me? Probably not. So this exit looks like you just drop to the to the bottom of the loop. So that's pretty easy. Now I need to refine the the. There it is. There's the orb. All right, so you just wait it out. And now, on your way through. Everything matters. Every little bit. From focus to procedure. That's number two, right? I need to be extremely thorough with everything I do. Really hoping to get those climbing gloves. Uh, spring shoes, of course, will also be second best. You could argue back and forth which one will be better. Definitely for me, I would rather have the climbing gloves right now. The spring shoes will be fantastic. You know what? Let me just undo this piece of trash so that I may have some arrow trap insurance. Especially now, considering those two are in the loop. Or maybe they collapse against the other side. Show you one more orb. Show me your ball so I can whip it real hard. I'll even throw a corpse at it. That's when you get real kinky. Sure, we'll bomb that. Bomb that. Get me some sweet crate action. Why not? All the crates that I have wasted. All the things that I've done. And I still got 90, man. Still got 90. Just goes to show. Spend your damn resources. You know something I will really appreciate, though? The last ball. Usually, when you can find it, it's because it's at the bottom. But this one isn't. I was hoping it was a jetpack for a moment there. I think I will grab it. Without the climbing gloves, I think I will go for the jetpack. It's a tough call. Because you open... <gasps> wow, what a stealth lizard. There was a very low chance of actually getting murdered by it. Still, I commend... <laughs> I commend the effort of this lizard. Its ability to catch me off guard with its incredible stealthy abilities. We're at the bottom right, so you know my Volcana procedure. Get to the top, start zigzagging. That's how we do We'll eventually come across something worth doing. Yep. Alright. There's one. Ow. Yep. I've not explored this entire area, so might as well. But for sure, we'll reach that. Hey, yeah. There you go. Which I didn't need to reach it at all. Keep pushing my way through. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeebus. Uh, this it is. <laughs> it really... It, this really feels like a failure of the level generation, doesn't it? It happens too often in Volcana. The way that uh, bubbles will just spawn in places where you just need an explosive to get it. And if you don't have an explosive, well, I guess that's too bad. You should maybe just restart. But for sure I was dead meat right there. Very tough position to be put into. <laughs> oh man, what a dastardly ways this monkey gets me. It's two bubbles, very nice. Give me the third. Oh man, we love jungles like this. Absolutely fantastic. Give me all the jungles just like that. Man, was that nice. Very, very nice. Oh, another short jungle. Fantastic stuff, brother. Ow. Just trying to get rid of you. Okay. Just have patience. Just have patience. That's the bubble number three right there. But of course, you know the drill. Find the exit first. 
It is very tempting. Just, I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, catch, bitch. I'll find it. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is that the best? The best Derek Hugh death I have ever suffered? That has to be top five at least. Not just of mine, but in the entire world. Not just the boomerang. The boomerang was predictable enough. It's going to come from the other... Of course it's going to loop and hit me from the other side, right? It's the fact that it also popped the bubble and sent me straight into the path of the jelly. That is just incredible. I am just in awe at what just happened. I ain't even mad. Hopefully you aren't as either. And let's see if we can keep this string of consistent trips into the cosmic ocean, followed by blameless deaths. I am okay with this. This is fine. This is good. Eventually I'm going to get it if I continue playing as good as I am playing right now. So thumbs up. Let's keep at it.